What's good, YouTube? It's your boy D Money here, back with another banger video, man. And today, as you guys can see by the title, man, this is a weird subject, but you must listen. Before we start this video, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. A lot of you guys are watching the vids, but aren't subscribed. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button, it helps support the channel. Also, guys, we are doing a giveaway at 15k subscribers, guys. All you guys gotta do is hit that subscribe button, hit that post bell notification, and you in there like swimmer, you dig? Comment down below what you guys want to see next, and I got you guys. You guys have been showing me so much love, and I really do appreciate that. Now, before we start this video, guys, like I always state, take everything that I say with a grain of salt. My perspective might change a day, two days, a year from now. Who knows? We're constantly growing. If you're not growing, then what are you doing? Also, guys, I love hearing the stories, the messages. You guys are such a big inspiration. When I read the comments, I literally see the positivity, the growth. I literally have the best community on YouTube. And if you guys have something more personal to tell me, let me know on Instagram. I do respond. I might be a couple days late, but I do respond. And if you guys do not agree with what I'm saying, please, please let me know in the comment section down below. I'm understanding. I'm understanding. I got an open mind. This is an open-minded channel. Now, check me out, y'all. Listen, this is going to be real controversial, and I'm going to have to be mindful about what I say so that this video don't get taken down because, you know, it's a very controversial topic right now. Now, listen, we all know what happened in Memphis. I don't really talk about subjects like this, but you best believe I'm paying attention to these things. You feel me? Everything is energy. And y'all probably like, how is this How is this turning into energy? I'm gonna get to that point, bro. But you know the subject, you know, if you haven't heard, you probably will hear, it's gonna be all over the news. I told you guys, I do not watch the news like that. It's entertainment and, it's, and it literally drains your energy, right? But you hear those five officers, right? Those are five officers that brutally beat, I guess you would say brutally beat this uh this black male you feel me and before y'all be like bro you gotta have sympathy you gotta you're not sympathetic yes i am i'm, I'm sympathetic but i also realize that when you put too much of your energy into something it can also make you feel bad it can make you feel shitty it can make you feel terrible so i try not to put too much of my 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 energy into something that i know i really can't make a change on Personally, not just me alone. I can't make a change of my own. Now listen here. People are gonna say it's a race thing. And we all, you know, every time it comes down to it, it's always a race thing. I know quotation marks. Forget that I just did that. No quotation marks. They're gonna say, hey, five black officers were fired immediately. Not only were they fired immediately, but they're going, they're, they're literally already hit with murder cases second degree first degree whatever you want to call it i don't know what the what the, the the real statement is right you know so far but they're like why is it that five black officers they do this and they go and they get fired immediately not with no pay administrative leave not with you know security protection and all that no they get sent straight to jail and i i know y'all i know y'all i know bro trust me because i'm like okay that kind of seemed weird to me too right not weird, but just like, ah, like, what, what, why? Like, why is it that, the you know, the white cop, you know what I'm saying? They get off, they get paid leave, they get protection, and then it takes a year for them to be trialed and, 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 and sent to jail. And if they get sent to jail, right? And I'm looking here and I'm sitting here and I'm like, bro, we got to realize that this happens every single year. Yes, there are phones now to record things, but do y'all not realize the timing of these things? The distraction, and I'm not saying that it's a, that this is a distraction because it's it's not the, the the you gotta you gotta see behind you gotta see behind the veil, right? Yes, something actually happened. Yes, somebody actually died. Yes, uh, a black man's life was taken away, black and brown, because it happens all the time. Black, my black people and my Latino people, it happens to y'all all the time. It happens to us. I say y'all, it happens to us, right? But you gotta realize that there's a time frame, literally at the beginning of the year something like this always happens and you got to realize at the end of the year or in the middle of the year there's always some big scandal that happens we got the walmart we got the balenciaga we had the jeffrey epstein we had all these things and these are all pertaining to kids these are all pertaining to the real things we're talking about real things and i'm not putting what just happened in memphis on the back burner no but i'm talking about things that really matter to us that really affect us that really affect our children that really affect the people that are gonna you know take over the world right everything that we do we do it for our kids everything that we do we do it for our future yes we live in the present moment yes we live in the moment but we also we do everything that we do right now in the moment for our kids 
right? Now y'all realize how we're not talking about Balenciaga, we're not talking about Walmart, we're not talking about all these things that that matter. They don't even talk about that on the news. They don't they don't mention these things on the news. They they talk about the killings, the the murders, the you know what I'm saying, the the the, the rappers. Why are they talking? Why is the news talking about Tory Lanez and Megan Thee Stallion? When you realize that the things that are done every year in the same time, in the same time frame, are meant to distract you, are meant to drag your energy down because now you're gonna be fed up. Now it's a protest. Now you gotta realize that fear, you gotta realize that fear and anger is low vibrational. You gotta realize that. Now if y'all haven't realized by now, now you know. So many people done told you. It's low vibrational entities. It's low vibrational, you know what I'm saying? you know things that we're going to do we're gonna go riot we're gonna go you know protest peacefully but you know it's always somebody in the group that start off something that 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 makes it you know no longer pro uh you know peaceful it's always that it's always like that and not to say that it's us but it's always somebody we're not gonna say who we're not gonna say if it's been set up or not to to end a peaceful protest to make it seem like it's a a, 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 a forceful or tactical or whatever protest. No, we're not gonna say that. We're not gonna say that because it's not. I'm not. I'm, not, I'm telling y'all a lie. I would be telling y'all a lie if I said that would happen, right? But you gotta realize that, bro. Every single time in a year. Now next year it's gonna be something just like this. It's gonna be a scandal. It's gonna be another black man or Latino man killed. It's gonna be some type of black and white. You know what I'm saying? Against black and white instead of everyone coming together. Not to mention that there's a bill that was just passed in the state of Texas that grants police officers to pull over any Latino male or female and ask them for ID. And if they don't have the ID, then they will get deported back. People didn't know that. I, I guarantee you a lot of people didn't know that. I guarantee you that if black and brown people, black and Latino people came together, right? We would be able to control. You gotta realize that we have the power, but we don't have the power. None of us do. And the reason behind that is because we give them so much power, we give them so much, we, we live in fear that they're gonna take everything away from us, but you gotta realize that if we were to all come together, right? Not black, brown, but white too, you know what I'm saying? Asian, if we all came together, watch how we would change the world. It wouldn't be no damn, because it, it's no longer a democracy. It's no longer that. You got to realize that y'all's rights is being taken away right in front of y'all's eyes, and y'all just allowed it to happen. Y'all work every single day just to get just to pay taxes, just to, just to spend money and spend more money on taxes. Come on, bro, you're getting taxed three times. Not only are you getting taxed three times, but when you get your taxes back, when you file for taxes, you don't get all the money that you spent. It's so much corruption. There's so many distractions. There's so much going on right now, and people are not even aware. People are not aware that it's taking their energy and it's draining it. People are not aware. But if y'all watch this video, maybe y'all are now. Who knows? We'll never know. I don't. I don't know how y'all. I don't know how y'all think. I don't know how y'all see things. I don't know how y'all will move around and, and maneuver and, and peep things out bro but i'm just telling y'all right now bro i'm not it's not that i'm not sympathetic i know what's going on but i realize that you cannot put your energy towards all these things it's unless somebody the, the energy that we need to put our the things that we need to put our energy towards we don't put it towards we put it towards the wrong things we put it towards entertainers we put it towards you know what i'm saying things in that nature that that won't help us in the future that won't help us you know what i'm saying better our lives lives you know what i'm saying it, it won't we worry about too much we worry about entertainment too much we're so distracted by tv tell uh tell i vision we're distracted by that stuff we're, we're distracted by these smartphones these smartphones literally run people's lives literally that's why i tell you guys to take breaks from the phones bro go outside touch some fucking grass but again just because you touch grass don't mean that your life still ain't being controlled you gotta wake up and see it bro not being woke but being awake, wake up and notice this stuff and realize that if we come together, can't nobody stop us, nigga. Nobody. For real. And I'm not trying to incite nothing. YouTube. No, what I'm just saying is that people have to stand up for their rights. 
people have to stand up for their for their being of living on earth take care of your mind your body and your soul man go outside get some sun get some nature drink y'all's water eat y'all's fruits and vegetables fresh fade nigga fresh fade come on now nigga. come on you know i feel good right now bruh i ain't doing it i'm gonna be in the house all day though you feel me but i still got it you feel me so take care of your mind your body and your soul Go outside, get some sun, get some nature, drink y'all's water, eat y'all's fruits and vegetables, plant y'all's foods if y'all can. Stay away from that processed food, man. Y'all been smashing that like button, and I really do appreciate that, man. Let's try to get 300 likes in this video. We are doing a giveaway at 15K subscribers, guys. All you guys gotta do is hit that subscribe button, hit that post bell notification, and you in that like swimmer, you did. I got the pranks, I got the vlogs, I got what you need. All you need to do, subscribe to D. I'm out of here, man. Peace.